Hi, I'm Meg. Welcome to Plant Bit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. Today I wanted to do a little Q&A video. I've been meaning to do a Q&A for a while, so it's been a long time coming, but I've had a lot of questions come in and a lot of the same questions come in about my move and about food and exercise and about my hair as well. So I will go ahead and answer those questions for you here. If you have more questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to either answer them or perhaps film another Q&A video if that's something you're interested in. If you like this video and videos like this, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already. So here we go. Starting with perhaps one of the most frequently asked questions about my move is where am I moving from and where am I moving to? I suppose that's sort of two questions in one. So I am moving from Kingston, Ontario, and I'll try to insert a map here so you can get a sense of where that is. I'm Canadian and I am moving across the country. So I'm moving from Ontario over to British Columbia and I'm moving to Vancouver. I've also been frequently asked why I'm moving and whether it's for a new job or a new opportunity or to be closer to family or friends, things like that. And the answer is simple, but also a little bit complicated. So uh, the long and short of it is that we have always kind of wanted to move out to Vancouver, but we always thought that it just wasn't doable for us because the cost of living is quite a bit higher here than it is where we were living previously. Before we lived in Kingston, Ontario, we lived in Ottawa, Ontario. And so moving to Kingston was actually a lower cost of living. And then moving here to Vancouver, our cost of living has increased a lot. And so that's one of the cons of moving out here and living out here. Um, but a few of the reasons why we wanted to come out here besides just wanting to be here is the weather. The weather here is a lot more mild and temperate and it will get rainy and gloomy. And I've been warned that that can be an issue for some people in the winter months, but in Kingston and in Ottawa, we dealt with a lot of snow and it was very 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 cold and neither of us enjoy the cold weather neither neither of us particularly love the snow or having to deal with it or drive in it or anything like that so for us to move somewhere from a colder climate to a warmer and more temperate place where it's rainier but not as snowy was a good option for us. Another thing about the cold weather and the cold climate is that my asthma flares up a lot in the cold months and I feel very restricted in the winter months. I felt really restricted in the winter months. In our previous living situations I felt like I had to stay inside more and my asthma would flare and it would be really uncomfortable. I'm hoping that my asthma won't flare up as much in Vancouver. I don't know, time will tell, but cold is something that impacts me a lot in terms of my asthma. So I'm hoping that this move will help with that as well. So fingers crossed, we shall see as time goes and what other pollutants or allergens or other factors might be at play. But I do know that cold is a trigger personally for me. So being away from the cold, cold winter, hopefully, fingers crossed, will be helpful in not having my asthma flare up. Another thing is lifestyle. We really enjoy going to the beach and going for hikes and things like this and of course those are things that we could do in Ontario but it's different here you can do it a little bit more easily we're in quite close proximity to the beach where we're living now so we can just kind of wander over there whenever we want we love Vancouver because it's a big city but there's also so much nature and so many parks so many beaches so much to do outside to enjoy so we're having a lot of fun exploring the city and enjoying 
the best of both worlds really with city living but also being really in close proximity to nature and enjoying the ocean and the beach and all the parks and there's just so much more to explore we've only just scratched the surface of what there is to see here um, but we're really excited to continue to explore an adventure and share some of that with you Another question I've had quite frequently is how did we actually make the move across the country with our six, almost seven year old? And this, I could answer this in a really long drawn out way. I could probably film a whole video about that if you want really the nitty gritty details of all the steps we took to get from Kingston, Ontario to Vancouver, BC. The short answer is we decluttered and got rid of a lot of things. Uh, Chris and I joke that we're aspiring minimalists because we're not really minimalists, but we like the idea and the concepts of being more minimal with our things and with stuff and being mindful and thoughtful about what we own and why so we did declutter and get rid of a lot of things i will have a video coming about our process of doing that and how we did that with our son riordan and how we sort of made that work and our thought process behind it so stay tuned for that so we did a big declutter we packaged up the things that we did want to keep in storage bins and put them in a U-Haul box to be taken across the country. And then we flew from Ottawa to Vancouver, stayed in a hotel for a couple of weeks while we were searching for somewhere to live, found a place for September 1st, and we have just moved in and we are still very much in the process of getting settled and getting new furniture and um, buying things that we got rid of previously and unpacking the things that we did keep and that we chose to hang on to. Like I mentioned, I could go into a much more in-depth video about the whole process of moving across the country. If you'd like to see that, absolutely let me know if it's something you're interested in. I'll be happy to put that together for you. A lot of people have also asked questions about the food situation while moving and going through that whole process and whether we stuck really to our whole food plant-based diet or if we kind of ventured away from that a little bit. And my best answer to that is that we did a little bit of both. So we did our best when we could and when it was possible to eat more whole foods and make sure we're eating veggies and all that good stuff. But we absolutely did venture out into eating some vegan restaurant meals and kind of exploring the different restaurants and things here. There's a ton of vegan options out here. So uh, we wanted to enjoy that as well when it made sense and when um, we were short on time or we just wanted to uh, have a little treat. And um, so we did a mix of both. I'll actually have two videos coming. One will be more the whole food plant-based foods and meals and how we made that work in our hotel room. We did have a small kitchen there, um, but I'll give tips for whether you have a kitchen or not traveling and sticking with whole foods. And then I'll have a second video that's about the more vegan junk food, the vegan restaurant meals, the fun food, the recreational style foods that aren't really our norm, but that we did dig into a little bit more in this phase, in this transitional process, and talk about some really delicious vegan eats that we found. Another question I've been asked about a lot is my exercise routine while we've been going through this moving process. I would love to say that I stuck to my exercise program and that I continued to go to the gym four to five days a week, but that would be absolutely untrue. I was, did not do that. I was not able to keep up with going to the gym and managing everything at the household and packing everything and unpacking everything and you know doing everything that is required for a move of this magnitude so for a while there i was continuing to go to the gym maybe one or two maybe three days a week and then gradually it sort of decreased and decreased and decreased as i got busier so I have been walking around a lot. I've been lugging furniture and lugging boxes and keeping my body active and moving, but just in very different ways and not doing my regular sort of weightlifting 
routine at the gym. Initially, I was really upset about that. I thought, oh no, I'm gonna lose all my progress and this is terrible. And I was really upset about it. And then it was like, okay, just take a deep breath. This is just a phase. This is temporary. This is just what needs to be done. Something else is taking priority at the moment. That's okay focus on that and then I can get back to the gym when I'm ready and when it makes sense to do that. If you're in Vancouver, let me know if you know of a good gym to join. I'm looking into different options. I'd like one that is reasonably priced if possible and somewhere that is downtown-ish. So let me know if you have any good leads on a good gym situation out here. I'd love to hear it. And another question I've had is about my hair and what is up with my hair? What's going on? I was rocking the buzz cut for about a year there. So people have been asking, are you growing it out? Are you going to buzz it again? Are you going to bleach it again? What's the deal with your hair? And initially the hair regrowth situation was literally just because I got lazy with buzzing it and because we were trying to sell our home I didn't want to have to buzz my hair and then deal with the tidy up because it can get quite messy with all the little little hairs that kind of get everywhere so I wanted to just kind of take a break from buzzing it to avoid that whole scenario of having it you know one more thing to add to the list. Now that it's grown out to this point I'm thinking hmm, maybe I'll grow it out. I did go to a barber shop with Chris which was really fun. It was my first barber shop experience. If you are someone with short hair absolutely go to the barber shop and check it out. I was kind of nervous. I thought mm, like I've heard some horror stories about people not having great experiences at barber shops particularly people who are women or female presenting having issues with barbers being a little uncomfortable or unsure about doing your hair but I had an amazing experience if I can find the name of the barbershop that I went to in Kingston Ontario I will leave it here for you for anyone who might be in that area and might be interested it was very chill and very fun and I would absolutely go to a barber shop again. The price was a little bit nicer and it was just a very calm, very cool, very nice vibe. Let me know if you'd like to hear more about my hair and maybe a pros and cons video of having a buzz cut versus having longer hair. I've had hair of every length and of pretty much every color and different styles so I can speak to that if that's something that you're interested in seeing. I want to make videos that you want to see so let me know in the comment section what types of videos you prefer to watch. Like I mentioned earlier I do have a decluttering video coming at you soon. I will make more content about my move and of course I will always be making content content about plant-based recipes, healthy lifestyle tips, all that good stuff. So I do have a hummus video coming at you soon as well. It will be a hummus recipe and then a couple of hummus based dips slash dressings that are really delicious. So stay tuned for that as well. If you like this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.